Hello, we're here to talk to you about our year of monitoring Odiac Pond. We heard that salmon were in the Odiac Pond and spawning there. However, they are not listed in the official anadromous catalog as being there. We decided to study the habitat to see what we could find. We were the first class to monitor Odiac Pond on a monthly basis to collect data and nominate the pond for our catalog. Over the next several months, we went in groups of five with Kate Alexander and other scientists and took more samples from the stream and pond. In April, we went on our last trip with a big group and checked fish trips, took more water quality samples, took videos and photos, and talked to the scientists about continuing testing the pond to see if it changes over time. We started our monitoring with a large class trip in November, where we went as a whole class and learned how to collect all our data and use the equipment. We monitored both the pond and the feeder stream to the pond because salmon had been seen in both places. Some of the things we measured were phosphates and nitrates. These are nutrients needed for plants. However, too many are harmful and mean that they are coming from outside sources. We also measure temperature and pH. Salmon and other organisms need certain temperature and pH levels to survive. Another thing we measured was dissolved oxygen. It is the amount of oxygen available in the water for the fish. If it is too low, the fish will die. We made graphs to show how some of our data compared. In addition to monitoring the water, we also found several water insects, such as a, the caddis fly. These are good indicators of water quality. Finding them is in this habitat is a good thing. We think that Odiac Pond should continue to be monitoring, especially by students, to make sure it stays healthy for our salmon for year to come.